Putin is urged to reinstate capital punishment by Prigozhin. Mercenaries. Yevgeny Prigozhin declared his Wagner forces were pulling out of Bakhmut and turning it over to regular Russian forces. Prigozhin emailed us this picture on May 25. Prigozhin, in the middle, stands with two of his men. Image courtesy of the Concord, Reuters, press office. Yevgeny Prigozhin, 61, kicked off a tour of Russia by calling for the reintroduction of the death penalty and the mobilization of two million soldiers from the country's reserves. This, according to a Russian expert, is proof of chaos. A mere 20 minutes ago it was published. Wagner Group leader Putin's chef also denies any interest in politics, though he admits to being very close to Putin. Yekaterinburg, Vladivostok, Novosibirsk, and Nizhny Novgorod are the four major Russian cities that Prigozhin has visited so far. The death penalty should be reinstated, in my opinion. Yevgeny Prigozhin Medusa warns that if we don't do this, we won't win the war. Stalin, my fellow communist, was 100% correct. Many of the times he shot someone for political reasons, he may have been mistaken. But there can be no doubt that capital punishment is warranted during times of war. Among the people Prigozhin lists as candidates for execution are deserters and officers who show disrespect to soldiers. Former President Dmitry Medvedev has advocated for the return of capital punishment in the past. Official visit. The president of Eritrea, Isaiah Zofwerki, visited Vladimir Putin on Wednesday. Eritrea is one of the countries that has been most supportive of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Source. AFP, Michael Metzl. Russia's admission to the Council of Europe required an end to the death penalty. There was a mention of this in the alleged endowment in 1996. Russia granted a postponement that was meant to be temporary. The country was previously a member of the Council of Europe, but this has changed due to the invasion of Ukraine. For more on the soldiers NRK spoke with in eastern Ukraine, see here and here. Perished last year. Foreign news and documentaries from NRK Eurex. Wow, that's fantastic. Russian expert and emeritus professor at Lund University Christian Gerner tells VG that the situation is chaotic when Prigozhin can act this way. There is a perception that Vladimir Putin's Russia is no longer a state but rather a power struggle. However, Gerner is of the opinion that Putin's regime will be brought to an end if he does not intervene to stop Prigozhin. That's a challenge to Putin, in my opinion. It's not a game to call for the death penalty. When a student approaches him with such a request, Professor X believes he despairs. Wagner Group members have been seen executing deserting former Wagner soldiers with sledgehammers in previously released videos. In gratitude, in St. Petersburg, a man walks by a poster that reads, Say thank you to Wagner's soldiers. Reuters, Anton Vaganov. Press conferences were held by Yevgeny Prigozhin wherever he went. Medusa provides a number of quotations, including General mobilization of 2 million people, effective army command and discipline, and the summary execution of deserters. These are the ingredients for success in the military's special operation. Make all Defense Industry Board members military officers so that the death penalty can be enforced against them. I share Katerov's view that martial law should be imposed throughout the country. No more money should be spent on frivolous projects like new bridges or theaters. Instead, it should all go toward strengthening the armed forces. We'll be on our own for quite some time. As a result, we need to develop a comfort level with microcircuit fabrication. Authorities in Moscow have a duty to safeguard citizens from potential drone attacks. The Wagner Group is no longer permitted to accept incarcerated individuals as new members. Motivated by envy, this occurred. You estimated that we would need 200,000 troops to successfully carry out the special operations baseline objectives, which include liberating Donbass and maintaining a strong frontline defense. An extended conflict is expected. I thought it would take at least two, if not three, years for the news of Donbass's liberation to reach Kiev. Ukraine has demanded an emergency meeting at the United Nations in response to statements made by Vladimir Putin regarding nuclear weapons. The Wagner Group reportedly uses social media to enlist fighters, 
drone pilots, and medical personnel for the conflict in Ukraine, as reported by Politico on Wednesday.